Hi, today I'm going to show you how to fulfill your first order in Lazada. So congratulations on your first order. So you listed your products and then yay, the first sale. Okay, so what you should do, okay? Okay, don't panic. Okay, I'm here to teach you on what you should do on your first order in Lazada. So before we proceed, I want to introduce myself. I am Kong. Okay, I'm a certified Lazada trainer and I've been uh, helping uh, new entrepreneurs just like you to grow their sales in e-commerce. So if you um, li uh, like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more uh, success and motivational uh, videos and how you can um, grow your sales and make more money. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so now first you go to your Lazada Seller Center. Okay, and then uh, you see here the orders. You click the orders and then you can see orders. Okay, don't use the new one. New one is very confusing. Okay, so you use this orders. Click. Okay, so you will come to here. Okay, so this uh, first you need to understand all this. Uh, all means all the orders that you have. Okay, so unpaid means they not just pay, so you don't care already because sometimes they like to add to cut but they never pay. Pending means you not printed and not packed yet. Okay, ready to ship means you packing already, everything is ready, just waiting for the courier to come. Okay, or you want to drop off. So I want to tell you for new sellers, right, they'll, the courier won't come and pick up. Until you grow to a certain stage, then you can apply for the courier to come and pick up. Ship means that you already sent out the items and then it's with the courier or on the way to the customers. Okay, so okay, so the first, okay, first you need to click on this pending. Okay, pending you can see, okay, these are the uh, 12 not yet print yet. Okay, 60 already print and packed waiting for courier to pick up. Okay, so you first you go to here you click all okay so when you click all the not printed one all you see here you will see here printed not printed x x x x x sometimes you forget you print already or not you just see back here printed okay printed or not so then you see this so one by one you can print okay what you can print is you can print all means uh the stock list invoice and the shipping label okay so all you can print okay some if you want to save paper okay you only print invoice and shipping label so shipping label is the courier slip that you put and stick okay and then the uh this the stock checklist for example okay let's say you want to print all everybody when you click here okay all the orders that is the 12 orders will be printed out at one shot. Okay, sometimes you scared lah. You maybe I want to print out 10. Maybe I want to print out 20. So here you can see one. Okay, so for example, here already I got 12 orders not check print mah, that just came in just now. So when you when you put in 20, so all 12 will be here. Okay, so then okay, you go here. You okay? Let's practice by one by one. You can print up all lah, Okay, so go here. The stock checklist actually not no need lah. Uh, up to you, up to you. Okay, if this one for example, if you you got sell ten thing, maybe got two green t-shirt, one white t-shirt, uh, one pink t-shirt, then it will all the stock checklist will in one here, but it's not necessary. Okay, let's practice by one. Okay, so first we go and print. Uh, uh, okay, now we just for our practice, we can print all first uh, but you can print one by one up to you uh. Okay, let's just print all for this one. Okay, so you see here, or invoice number is auto generated, auto generated. Okay, so up to you. For example, you have your own. Okay, you want to put like A one two three four seven eight nine ten or W three one 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 up to you. Okay, then you press the save invoice ID. But normally it's auto generated, nah. Okay, so you see here, so you straight away print. Okay. Okay, we just printed the order. You can see here. Okay, so just now it was this order that we printed. Okay, I want to tell you something. Okay, this is the, you see here, stock checklist. Okay, looks like this. And then we have the invoice. 
invoice okay that we give the customer this one okay and then we have the shipping label this one this is the one that you stick on the package okay for your courier okay i want to tell you something just now i will just print that if using a4 size but i will strong slide i will strongly strongly suggest that you print your shipping labels okay you go and do some setting yourself okay you see here you can do what more settings uh, paper size you can put a5 which is half of the a4 size and then you uh, fit to sheet to paper something like that okay so very very important that uh you you do this setting so that you can save money so i show you see this is what we do it's a half the a4 which is a5 size and then our shipping label we use this thermal one the sticker one but thermal one expensive but uh if you get uh more than uh 20 orders per day we strongly uh, suggest that you buy the thermal one but as a new seller you just stick to the use the normal printer first don't waste your money okay once you get more than 20 orders per day then you need to use the thermal which is the sticker type so this one if not it's so jack so bizarre too big a4 size is too big okay Ch please change to a5 paper size then you get this one cute cute one cute cute size okay. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, let's say that you already printed the order. Okay, you can see here. Ew, after you say, ew, which one I printed, I forgot already. You see here? Ha, you see here that uh, your, your, this one is already one green color thick. Okay, and then you can see here, you see this uh, one, two, like that. Uh, means they buy how many items inside this, uh, this order. Okay, so you from this order, what you should do is first you got the invoice ready, ma. Okay, and the pack list, but pack list not important as I told you. So you see, oh, you this fella they buy for example three items. Okay, okay. So faster, faster, you go and pack, 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 pack the item. So and then you stick the courier slip on top. Okay, and then after that, then you go into the same order. Okay. You can go here, you see here, order number, you can type in, type in 1, 2, 3, 4 or whatever. Follow the order number in your paper or you can scan in. Please, I will strongly, strongly suggest you go and buy a scanner. Go to Lazada, simply search scanner. I think around 30 something also can get, 50 something also can get, 90 something also got. Then you just scan in, save your your the eye sometimes want to see the order also very very susah okay so you scan in the order and then you will come to here so this is the order that you pack after you packing are uh, very important go to this order go to status set status and ready to ship okay set status ready to ship okay so why you need to set the status ready to ship so once you press ready to ship means the item is ready okay so that's yeah ready ready and then you can ask uh, uh, the courier will get the notification that they can pick up the item okay if you never press ready to ship more very very important you pack your item already pack already okay only you press ready to ship okay so once you are ready to ship you click means that the courier will get notification that they can take your item if you forget to press ready to ship okay and you your item for example you are a new seller the courier won't come to your shop one you need to be above a certain volume maybe 50 parcels per day that one i'm not sure i can check for you only the courier will come to your shop too or your house to pick up so before that if you like one parcel one week uh one parcel every day so you need to send it to a drop off point that uh in your system they will set for you okay for example in your system they set for you is uh mbe maybe uh in Starbucks. okay so you need to go to mbe so it's your nearest mbe lah. okay for example they will scan the area the nearest mbe they will set for you so you go there but then the status is not ready to ship they cannot even take your item so when you go there technically they will scan your item and then it will convert to um, a status is uh, on the delivery to customer already 
or with courier so from once you press that thing which is out of your hands and it is with uh, technical status is with courier and after that it will be delivered to customer so customer can see all oh, this one is all they will know already you already ready to ship they will know where you'll pass to the courier or uh, pick up by the by the courier so you cannot cheat one so everything is systematic and customized okay so 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 Mm. so once you press ready to ship everything is ready so make sure you pack your items okay pack your pack your items properly and then ready to ship so after that you send it to your uh the one that they designated for you for example mbe cheraska starbucks whatever and then the drop off point okay so and then please rajin put in more items Okay, make your item nice nice and you sell more so once you write so, uh, volume increase your parcel a lot already so you can apply for the courier to come and pick up from your house or from your shop no need to go and send 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 all the time okay so i hope my uh, this uh, is very very clear for you if you have any questions you please you can drop in the comments or you can follow me on instagram so i put my instagram link down in my description so anything you can uh, drop me a dm and please follow me and subscribe to my channel so i will give you more 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 uh, tips on how to make more money online so thank you and bye bye